Hello guys, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build a hinge door with a vertical hinge in Roblox. Here inside Studio, you can see I have two different rectangular parts. I have a door and a wall. Let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see clearer where we place the attachment. And now we're going to click on the Model Menu tab. We're going to go to the Constraints section. You can see it has been changed quite a bit. I just got the new studio update and things are looking a little bit different now. So if you click on the constraints button here, you can see there are a couple of different options in here. There's a create option and there's a show welds, constraint details and draw on top. It's very similar to our old menu. The only difference is these are hidden underneath this button and you have to click on it to see them. Um, so now let's go ahead and turn on the constraint details click on constraint details. If you click on this again, you can see that it's being turned on. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the down arrow of the crate and we're gonna select hinge. Now we're gonna go to our workspace. We're gonna place our first attachment on the wall with the yellow arrow pointing to the right. Click there and I'm gonna bring the cursor to the other side to the door and I'm gonna place my second attachment also with the yellow arrow pointing to the right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click on attachment number zero, which is the attachment that is on the wall. You can see the uh, yellow arrow is pointing to the right. That's our rotation axis. We wanna turn it so that it stands vertically. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna check this box for the rotation, so each each click is going to be 45 degrees and I'm going to click on rotate to rotate my attachment. Now we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. So it's going to be two clicks. This is one and this is two. All right. So let's look at the attachment again. You can see that the arrow, the, the yellow arrow is pointing straight down. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other attachment, which is attachment number one here on the door. So I'm selecting the attachment and I'm going to select rotate and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees, one click, two clicks, and the yellow arrow now is pointing down. So they're both pointing down in the same direction. Both yellow arrows are pointing down. Now I'm going to zoom back out and we can put the door back together with the wall we can move the door to the wall so that the two attachments are at the same location and now we can play to test and there is our hinge door gonna give it a push and there it goes and just watch uh, notice one thing here i'm gonna try and push it through the wall and it goes through the wall. So if you want to build like a haunted house, this would work perfectly for a haunted house. But if you want to build like a regular door, you don't want it to go through the wall. So let's go back to studio and let's see how we can fix that. All right, so the reason our door is going through the wall is whenever you use a hinge constraint, collision between the two parts that are being attached is automatically turned off and that's why the door can go through the wall. So what we want to do is we want to select the hinge constraint and we want to put some limits on it. So select the hinge constraint. We're going to go to the properties window and scroll down. We're going to look for limits enable. Check that box. Let me scroll up a little bit so you can see it. Limits enable. Check that box. And then it's going to give you a couple of different options. So you have the lower angle and the upper angle. Before I do anything, let me just move the door out so you can see better. I'm gonna select the door now and I'm gonna just move it out a little bit. And let me zoom in a little bit just so that we can see better. All right, I think that's good enough. And now let's go back to the hinge constraint. So we're gonna select the hinge constraint again. 
So you can see there's a green part here that, that indicates the angle of rotation, the, the, the limits for the door to move. So my door currently as it is, it can only move 45 degrees this way and 45 degrees this way between these two brackets, right? The, the green brackets. So I'm going to change that because I want my door to be able to open wider. So I'm going to change this to negative 150. And I'm going to change the upper angle to 150. Hit enter. And you, you can see that the, the, uh, the, the angle, the green angles, is now much wider. From this angle, you can see that the limits are much wider now. The, the brackets is opening all the way, almost hitting the wall. So now let's put our door back into place and then we're gonna run in tests. And let's play in tests. I'm gonna go to my door. And now it should not be able to go through the wall. You can see that it didn't go through the wall, right? I push and push and push. It does not go through the wall anymore because the limit angle is stopping the door from moving any further. One thing we notice here is when I just swing the door open, it just stops right there. So if you want to make it more realistic, you can add a bounce to it. So let's go back to studio and we're going to select the hinge constraint again, go down to the limits and in between the lower angle and the upper angle, there is a property called restitution and that's gonna give you the bounce. So if you make it 0.7, let's say, and let's go back and play and test. There should be some bounce when the door hits the limit. Let's try it again. All right, so for some reason, that there is a glitch there and the restitution did not work. It, the door did not bounce back. So I'm going to try it again. I'm, I have deleted all the attachments on the door and the, the wall and the uh, hinge constraint. We're going to try and redo it. So I'm going to go to the constraints again, click on create, select hinge constraint. I'm going to put the first attachment on the wall. And this time I'm not going to put it so high. I'm going to put it closer to the ground and I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to place it on the door. And then we're going to select attachment zero. We're going to rotate. So it's the same steps as we we did earlier. Rotate 90 degrees. Attachment one, rotate it 90 degrees. And we're going to select the hinge constraint. We're going to go to the properties, limit, enable. Check that box. We're going to go from negative 150 to 150. And our restitution is going to be 0.7. Everything is exactly the same as before. The only difference is I'm placing my attachments closer, near, nearer to the floor, to the base plate. All right, let's move this door back in. And let's play and take a look. Hopefully it works this time. I'm going to give it a push and it bounces back. Look at that. So again, I have no idea why it did not bounce back before. Uh, I'm, my, my guess, the only difference between the way we did it before and now is the attachment. We, we put it up here as opposed to down here, but I don't know. It, it should work either way. I, I mean, you could give it a try, uh, try both ways. And if, if you put it up here, it doesn't work, try it at the bottom and hopefully it works. That's how we use vertical hinges in Roblox.